Are you having fun yet? Don't you love live shows? And was Carl Walkner not amazing? He's in from Nashville, donating his time to the Chichi Rodriguez Foundation. It's such a great event. There's about 100 people here. And joining me right now is the mayor of Clearwater, Frank Hubert. Mayor, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, it's my pleasure, especially for Chichi Rodriguez Foundation. You know, it's awesome, Mayor, because this is the 42nd year that they have done this. Why do you feel this is so important for the community? Well, it's the mission, and it's what they're accomplishing, which is really helping kids that may not learn in a traditional fashion, and the way the Chi Chi's has structured their program, it works. You know, I wanted to ask you, like so many people don't know that the foundation is here. What would you say to people out there? I mean, it's such an amazing place. Unfortunately, it is well kept secret at times, uh, but we're continuing to get the word out. You know, we've gone from two different locations. Originally, Chi Chi's was down on Court Street in Clearwater. Now it has a much larger location. They have this wonderful driving range, the golf course. What they need to know is really how it's helping kids. And when you see these kids and how they're being affected, because they're in a completely different environment, than a traditional classroom, and you see the results, you want to help. Now, are you a golfer? I am a golfer. <laughs> so why is golf so great? People are always talking about golf is so great, and, it's, and I know that you can play golf for years, right? It may not be like a traditional sport. Where else can you go out for three or four hours with family and friends and be in the outdoors and enjoy the great weather that we have in Florida? That's why golf's great. Whether you're good or bad, it's always great. It's like pizza. Even bad pizza is great. <laughs> Wait, I love that comparison. I don't think I've ever heard that comparison before. But yeah, pizza is probably my absolute most favorite food. You know, just an inside info about me. So, are you surprised there's any more turned up today? No, the, we, we always have a great turnout. The foundation does a marvelous job of getting everyone here and planning the day so that everyone's having fun, but ultimately we can raise money. Chi-Chi was a special guy. He really was. Uh, if you're not aware of it, take a few minutes to familiarize yourself. Once you understand the mission and the results, you're going to want to be involved. Great, Mayor. Thank you so much for meeting with us. Thank it's always you. so wonderful to see you. My pleasure. Guys, Clearwater Mayor Frank Hibbert, should we walk around? Do we have time before we go live? So we have some time before we go live. Let's see what we can find here. So Dick Crippen right. is right here. So Dick, we are live, and you and I are going live at six o'clock. We are. So yes, of course we are. So I'm you just, know, I'm you're grabbing one of my a favorites. fast bite. You're one of my favorites. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt your dinner. But nope. why is it important for you to be here today? This is one of those charities I firmly believe in. I, there's a couple of them that I really have a big heart for. Okay. I've known Chi Chi for 42 years. We actually, I remember when it actually started and how it's progressed forward and the good it's done. And I'm just amazed by it. We stand here on a facility that I never foresaw. Uh, the school right across the street is just phenomenal. So I, I just believe in it. And I just want to have a passion. I like to get involved. So, did you play golf or something? Not today. <laughs> Not, Not today, today. No, why embarrass myself? <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> you know, just stay cool and so people think, oh boy, here, he's going to give a lot of money. So coming up at around 6 o'clock, you and I are going to be hosting yeah. the program here. It's my first year, but you've done this for years. And I know you talked about 42, 42 years. Yeah. 42 years? Yeah. Wow. So how have you seen it grow? <laughs> It's, it's like watching a flower burst. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally it has been because we started, and I'll tell the story about Chi Chi and Bill Hayes and myself, and uh, we were in Largo behind a, at the warehouse with a couple of kids, and Chi Chi was showing them some golf, and that's kind of where it started. And of course, they had the course in downtown Clearwater, and then they got this course out here, and all the time the kids were learning, and it was just phenomenal. Bill Case used to talk to me about getting calls from the police at 3 in the morning because some kid was taken out of the home with domestic violence. And uh, I, I realized then the good that he was doing. And they, they, they turned these kids around. Thanks, Anytime we can help. All right, Dick, so I'll see you in a few minutes.
few minutes. Do okay. I have a couple more minutes back to continue to interview people? Organizers of the event. All right, introduce yourselves, please. I'm Sean Toby. Mallory Hubbard. Thank you so much for having us. I'm so honored and flattered to be an MC, along with Dick Crippen, who I just learned has been MCing for 42 years. Yes, now. yes. Oh, I know, been here longer than me. Man. So, Mallory, tell us about the event. Sure. So, this is our uh, 20, 2021 charity classic, 42nd year. And every year we host this fundraiser and we try to raise uh, money for the kids. And so tonight we'll raise over $150,000 for our educational programs. That's awesome, $150,000, that's fantastic. Now tell us too, what about Carl Walkner? I mean, he is amazing. Yes. And tell us the story. You guys actually heard him sing in Nashville yep. and you were surprised, right? You said, hey, come on out and sing for us. Yeah, so I mean, we wanted to add something new, especially when COVID hit, um, everything changed. And so with our event last year, we had to do a live stream and we saw a lot of different events and we thought, what could wow this event? Live music. So uh, we reached out to him. We had personally seen him play in Nashville just absolutely amazed um, and out of the good of his heart he wanted to reach out and help and uh, we told him about the foundation we told him about the kids and um, he was a teacher at one point um, but he just bought in and then when we were getting to planning the first event why not have him there with so he's been fantastic um, a great addition to this oh my gosh and he's such a nice guy i mean i love his personality so and there's a special treat coming up too yes. involving him right can yeah. you tease it a little i, I will tease a little <laughs> bit um so he actually came a couple days early and uh, about two weeks ago since our kids got to do this and they actually helped write a song oh my gosh and so he's uh, gonna perform it for us so he worked with the kids he performed for them uh, in school on friday and he's gonna play for everybody tonight that's so exciting. And there's also another little bit of a tease involving little old me, right? right? Volunteers of the Year, right? Yeah, so Volunteers of the Year having something to do maybe with my show on the record. A little bit, a little bit, yep. They, uh, Sam, one of the Volunteers of the Year, he actually got to participate on your show and one Volunteer of the Year for his Academy of Career Day, which you were a part of. Yay! Well, we're so excited to be here. Are you surprised? Oh, we love it. it. We always have such great support with this program. It's been for years. Um, we, it, should, it, it takes the team. We were talking about that earlier. With the team, with all the people that are involved, that's how we can help these kids, and that's what it's all about. Thank you. Well, again, guys, so flattered and so honored to be your MC yeah. tonight, along with Dick Griffin. We're going to get ready to go. I think, Beth, how much time do we have before we're actually before the ceremony actually starts? This is what I love about live TV. Right? Do we have time? Do we have a couple? No. Let me show you around. Once again, there's about say more than a hundred people here it's fantastic. My crew at CP Communications at Red House Radio. I love these guys. They don't want to be on camera, but let's go behind the scenes. Guys, how are you feeling? Joey. It's good to be here representing uh CP and Red House Streaming. Okay, so talk to me about the equipment though too. So you guys brought out this console. Yeah, we got a uh, Digico S21 here. Uh, that's how we're able to hear the Position, and that's how you're able to hear me on this microphone right now, actually. No, so. it's awesome. So what does it take to put all of this together, Joe? It takes some good planning, uh, good execution. We were starting to talk about uh, planning for this event a few days ago and put all the gear together on Friday, and now we're here. And here we are. And so I have to say, Joey's actually from D.C., and so he said to me, whoa, hey, I didn't anticipate it being this cold, but it's a little bit chilly out here. I know. I've gotten to 70 degree weather, and now when it gets below 60, uh, winter jackets only. We just got some hand warmers, so like trying to stay warm now. So there we go. Hey, I have to say, I mean, honestly, we couldn't do it right without the crew, and Joey is a huge part of my show on the record, so I really appreciate that as well, as you know. Absolutely. And it's already 6.01, so I guess pretty soon the actual show is going to start. But I love this breakout stuff, you know, and going live, breaking news. Oh, we're ready to go. Okay, we are ready to go. So, um, should I hand you the mic? Okay, we're ready to go. So, we're going to start with the official program folks. I think Carl Walker is going to introduce us, actually. Where is Carl Walker? Let's see. Carl that's going to introduce us? This is 
is truly what I love about live TV. You guys are involved in the action, behind the scenes. We're having a great time. We're at, we're at the Chichi Rodriguez uh, Youth Foundation, the Academy actually, where there's a lot of kids here that get to participate in golf. We've heard in the past couple of days how important golf can be to children, lifelong lessons. All of this is run mostly through donations and tonight we're being told that they're going to raise at least $150,000. The performer Carl Walkner, amazing, he's from Nashville, flew into town to perform today. He is going to introduce Dick Crippen and myself as we um, had the program. Dick Crippen, who is a very familiar face in Tampa, has actually emceed this event for 42 years. This is my first year emceeing, which I'm so honored and flattered about. Of course, all of this is being brought to you by CP Communications. We have a home of my show. We made a major announcement in the past couple of weeks that the studio actually also launched my network, the Serena Fazan Network, and uh, we're going to be having some sub-series on the show as well, so stay tuned for that. Great crowd here tonight, too. It's a little bit chilly, but not too bad. I think they're looking for Carl to announce us and to get this program underway. But again, such a beautiful night, right, Beth? Gorgeous. Beth is behind the camera. I've got to say, it's the crew that makes all of this so great and makes all of this happen. And here's Dick. We're getting ready to go, Dick. I think they're we're waiting for Carl to announce us. We have a couple of very special treats tonight and surprises. Oh, we're wrapping up so we can start the official program. So stay with us, guys. Stay with us. Oh, there we go, we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get your attention up here, please? I'm the guy on the stage with, the, with my arm up in the air. First of all, uh, before I welcome these people up on the stage, we just want to say thanks so much for being here so far. Hopefully it's not too cold for everybody. We've got some heaters. i got some nice long sleeves going on. Thank you for listening to me earlier. I'm going to play some more music later. But we would like to, without further ado, welcome up onto the stage a Serena Faison and Dick Crippen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Guys, thank you so much. We're so excited to be here, right, Dick? I got to tell you something. This is my 42nd year doing this, and I love it. It's my and first year. It's good to see you. It's great to see you. Well, you know, we, it's funny. We're in this common business, and then all of a sudden, paths go different. But it's good to see you. It's you great to see great. you. You've always been a mentor of mine, so it's great to be up on stage with you and be here with you tonight for such an important event. Well, if I could remain ageless, this evening, I'd be all right. At any rate, I hate him to say that, by the way, guys. <laughs> so, do you want to? Uh, Go ahead and welcome some fun oh, guests. Oh, yeah, sure. sure. Okay, okay, well, first of all, thank, thank you, you so much, Carl. Carl. Your, Your music, music is amazing, is amazing and we can't, can't wait to hear you sing, right? Huge round of applause for Carl, right? And there's a couple of surprises coming, too, in this program, which is great. All right, so we um, would like to welcome the city of Clearwater Mayor, Frank Hibbert, who just spoke to me live, by the way, Mayor, if you want to just stand up just really quickly. Yay, Mayor. Yes. Yeah. Yay. Councilman David Albrighton. The city of Clearwater is one of the, it, it, where is the councilman? Is he here too? He must be in transit. He must be in transit, all right, okay, he's in transit. All right, well, the city of Clearwater is one of the foundation's biggest partners and we can't do this without them, that is for sure. I mean, I've learned a lot, Dick, about this foundation. I know you've been here for a long time and uh, right. know, you know, know a lot about the foundation. Well, it is, that's true, but I have to tell you, the partnership with the city of Clearwater is most important to this foundation. So I thank Frank and all the city councilmen and all those who are involved for supporting the worthy cause of the Chichi Rodriguez Foundation. Great. And we have a lot of wonderful sponsors that Dick's gonna go through. Yep, we're gonna start with Raymond James, as we always do. And yes, give them a round of applause. They are definitely involved. 
Oh, I know he's here. I know, we'll bring him up later. Lieutenant, we want to thank Lieutenant General John B. Conway. Those of you that have been here before, you know, you know, this guy is a huge fan and friend of, of Chi Chi's. He has contributed every year. He's got a group, and that group this year came up with an additional $3,000 donation. Wow, that's thank great! You. We want to thank Public Supermarkets Charities. They are always on the scene. Also, Amazon Web Services, AARP Florida, which I'm becoming too familiar with. <laughs> Bradcock Metallurgical, Brown and Brown Insurance, Blake and Mitchell, Drevis, and Servpro. And I want to give them all a big round of applause. Couldn't do you without. We can never do it without our sponsors, right? All right, is everybody having such a fabulous time? It's awesome, right? It's beautiful. And we have to talk about the amazing food. I mean, when you have an amazing event, you've got to have amazing food, right? And, and the we amazing, know where to go. Yes, the amazing food is brought to us by Baystar Restaurant Catering. And the alcohol is from Breakthrough Beverage. Big round of applause to them. And Frank Chavis is here. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Yep, thanks. Right here, right here. Oh, there he is. Over Thank there. you so okay. much, Frank. We're sitting with the big guy. <laughs> All right, now I got that all figured out. Okay. So I want to share, um, which I just did, uh, the, this is my first year I'm seeing. I'm so honored and flattered by it, and it's thanks to the whole crew at CP Communications and Red House Streaming. But Dick has been here for 42 years, yeah. and the theme is then and now. So Dick, I would like to interview you a little bit. So what have you, what have you seen with this theme, the then and the now? Well, the beauty of it was when it first started, it was uh, Bill Hayes was the executive director, Chi Chi, of course, and I want to say one thing about Chi Chi, Serena. I worked with pro athletes for 70 years. And I have to tell you, there's a lot of them that lend their name to a charity. And you say, boy, that's wonderful that you're part of that charity. What do they do? And they draw a blank expression. But Chi Chi, I remember I was sports director at uh, the local Channel 8 here, NBC affiliate. And Chi Chi, as a friend, would be around. He'd be coming to visit the school, and I'd never know he was there. That says a lot. Well, it was because of the kids. He's all about the kids. A lot of people don't know that when Chi Chi was on tour, they actually had his phone number to call him if they had a problem. Wow. And Chi that's devotion. That's giving more than just your name. That's giving yourself. And Chi Chi is devoted to this foundation. And when we started it, I say we, I was just there when the event first happened, and that was out behind a warehouse in Largo, and uh, they had a couple of kids, Bill Hayes, Chi Chi, and myself, and we showed them a little bit about golf, and it went from there. And that's how golf has always been an important part of the foundation program, teaching the kids not only how to play golf, but how to maintain the courses, how to run a pearl shop, and they have turned out kids that were destined for the wrong path, and they put them on the right path, and it has been just a great reward to see what this foundation has done. Fantastic. And the, the people, the teachers, the staff, I think we ought to give them a round of applause. Definitely. Today, too, like Definitely. So, Dick, you know, I wanted to ask you, I've learned so much about the foundation through the years, and it, it's such a wonderful foundation. But a lot of people, and I was just talking to the mayor about this as well, a lot of people don't know that it's here in Clearwater. What do you think we can do to spread the message about the Chi Chi Rodriguez well, Foundation? Well, I think you're doing part of that tonight. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. I certainly <laughs> so hope so. That's why we're here. The <laughs> podcast is being broadcast live, so that's getting out there. But no, it's just it's just getting the word out, and, and that's a big thing because people don't understand exactly what the mission is. But when they do understand, and when they see some of the graduates and some of the people working in the community and contributing to the community, I mean, it really makes a difference. And the, the Academy has done a phenomenal job, just phenomenal. 
They absolutely have. And when, Dick, when you were talking about it being broadcast live, so it's the video and the audio that's being broadcast live. Broadcast live on all my social channels. Uh, bro broadcast live on CP and Red House's social channels. Also on Chi Chi Rodriguez's uh, social channels and Carl Walkner's. And just because it's live, it doesn't mean it's not there anymore. You can go back and you can share it and spread the message on this wonderful That's foundation. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Now in this world, right, Dick? Right. We've seen it change so much. My goodness, they didn't have it when I started. <laughs> That's what I always say, too. That's what I always say, too. All right, so are, you're going to be uh, introducing someone very, very well, important. We're going to bring up a guy who I've known for many, many years, and I'm proud to say he's a friend. He is a great supporter of the, not only this charity, but of the community in general. He's one of the guys that built a major company in this area, and it is a major company that gives back to the community. So uh, I think Tom James is going to come up. Are you not, Tom? He's coming up. <laughs> so give him a big round of applause, because I'll tell you, Raymond James does a phenomenal job of support, and he is on the board here, and he supports this charity and has for a long, long time. Absolutely. So ladies and gentlemen, Tom James. Tom, thank you so much for being here. You here, you can take my mic. Oh, thank you. Well, welcome everybody. It's, it's good to see you all again, because uh, most of you are repeaters. And it's uh, great fun to see people congregated together again, right, Dick? I mean, that's uh, after the last 18 months. So, you know, what I would say to you is, uh, um, my friend Dick didn't mention my father who was a co-founder with Chi Chi, and uh, uh, he actually, uh, Bill worked for us as a salesman in our Bel Air office, so we, we brought him over here. Um, the, uh, uh, we have a great team now, and what's transpired since those early days is Chi Chi really carried this with all of his friends from all over the country. Uh, wasn't just locals. In fact, it, almost none of the major support came from uh, locals to begin with. Uh, and um, we made a great transition and brought in a lot of local leaders, St. Pete, Tampa, and surrounding environs, along with a couple of the people that have hung on for a number of years, but we basically had to replace uh, Chi Chi's group that would fly in for a weekend and raise a lot of money at one of these tournaments. Uh, and we still get help from Jack Nicholas, uh, uh, who comes uh, by and helps us. Uh, we had a dinner uh, with Jack, and of course Chi Chi brought him originally. Uh, so, uh, we've got a great tradition in terms of working with golf. And if you think just about that, um, what's really different about this organization is the private-public partnership that Dick mentioned. We work with the city of Clearwater. Uh, we work with the school system in Pinellas County, um, which I can tell you, 20 years ago, they would have never done what they do now to work directly and cooperate with us. And not just us, but many other outside private resources and other schools and systems like Junior Achievement, et cetera, that are now integrated into the... So, so I want to salute our, our superintendent, who's been a great supporter here, along with the few of his predecessors who made that great transition over the years. Uh, so uh, we get great teachers from them. Uh, we get, uh, which, which uh, reduces the cost. You heard about people like Frank, Chiv Frank Chivas. Chivas, you think that he just supplies food. I can tell you, he's, he's one of the greatest uh, uh, can-do people that I've ever met. Uh, that worked very hard as we added classrooms on our land across the street uh, to build a school up to its current size. And so we have the great privilege to be able to help educate kids who fall behind early in the school system that the school system actually identifies for us and 
bring them in here and catch them up on education. And many of you know that, but you know, that's really the most important thing we do. Uh, we're all contributing to kids. And uh, I know Frank uh, would share that uh, that's where his dedication comes from because he's certainly a great entrepreneur that made it big from starting with nothing. So uh, that tends to affect your logic. And Chi Chi would always cheer for the United States uh, as a result of his experience it started in Puerto Rico where he was really a caddy and got so good so fast uh, that the place he worked uh, supported him for a while and he got out on tour and of course we found out that he wasn't just a great golfer who looked too small to play the game to start with. Uh, but he was one of the great entertainers of all time. And uh, if you never saw that sword act as he sunk those putts, uh, you don't, you don't uh, really understand what I'm talking about. Or watched him hook a ball and then slice a ball and point out and say, now watch them hit each other. And of course, they came close enough, especially since you couldn't quite guess where they were in the air out there. Uh, but they looked like they were gonna hit. And I mean, he could hit shots out of traps back over his head onto the green. I mean, it, it was wonderful to watch him. And to see him with those kids and talk with those kids, you could just see him light up. So uh, we're sorry he's not here with us tonight, but um, he's, uh, he's still with us in spirit, I can tell you that for sure. And, and uh, He'll probably be back here again before too long, and, and uh, he's one of the few people that are older than I am. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's saying something good. Um, so we couldn't do it without all the people in the community, both on the board, uh, and we have a number of board members here uh, that uh, always are involved in these tournaments and work very hard uh, to support the overall academy, uh, which we took from a situation that was indebted and, and had problems and wasn't doing nearly as many students as we do now. And we built it up because of that local support on both sides of the bay, I might add. This is a, a Tampa Bay uh, effort. Uh, so. It's been a great privilege to be working with that because I, I've uh, served uh, since Chi Chi asked me to get involved as the chairman uh, of the foundation for a number of years now. And I can tell you, the most important thing we do every day is to make sure that we help educate our kids. It's never more important than it is today where you see the change with STEM uh, I like to make it STEAM because I add arts uh, to the STEM. Uh, but the fact is, it's, it's uh, wonderful to see uh, what's going on, but we have to train our kids a lot better than we do, and we have to keep them in school for the full boat. Uh, whether they go into a profession uh, after high school or go in the service, you need to get them through high school and those that want to go to college need to have the opportunity to get there. So we work very hard uh, to help get those kids back in the public high school system when they qualify uh, to do that. So um, I just want to add my thanks again to all of you for coming to this and for all the support you give. And you should be very proud of what you're accomplishing. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you so much, Tom. Tom mentioned, the, uh, Tom mentioned the board of directors. I'd like to introduce them. If they're here, I'll have them stand up. Uh, you just met Tom, Griff Braddock, Scott Curtis, Jessica Majewski, Elliot Ross, Fred Whaley, Kendall Wilson, and Frank Chevis. How about it? Give them Thank a you. Round of Thank you so Give much, guys. Applause. Right, because we can't do it without the board. We can't do it without the sponsors or the volunteers. Pick. Remember that. There's so many people that make all of this come together, and we want to remind people about the auction too that's going on right now. 
That, that's could, all on Cortego. Right. Yeah, that's uh, I. That's great. I didn't even know they could do that. <laughs> How uh, times have changed. <laughs> you said social stuff. What, what is that? I know, I know. <laughs> all this new social stuff. Anyway, uh, then and now is really the theme that we're fooling with tonight and having a little bit of fun with. And look at where Chi Chi Rodriguez for Youth Foundation started and where we are today, which is really amazing. It's like a, a major flower that blew. And uh, we talked about the early days and the foundation start. Just 14 students were enrolled in the early days, and now over 90 are involved. And uh, they are getting something great. Over 300 students, believe it or not, have actually gone through the academy uh, during First T. And First T is a great thing. You know, I told you the the whole idea of the Chi Chi Rodriguez Foundation started with golf, and First Tee, of course, teaches golf. The Clearwater programs on campus, and over 3,000 in our First Tee school programs annually. Wow, that's a lot. The overall mission of the foundation is to improve these students' academic performance, self-esteem, and character using the golf course as their living classroom. Wouldn't you love that? Yes. Mine was far from that. <laughs> And it's working. The academy overall graduation rate is 70%, and all of those students were deemed unlikely to graduate without some type of intervention. So it is a great success story, and what this event is about tonight is providing the foundation with the resources to help these kids. And speaking of these students, we have some of the Chi Chi Academy teachers and staff joining us tonight. We'd like to ask them to stand anywhere you are, teachers, staff, and uh, we got to recognize them. They're at that Give back table, big guys. Round. A big They're round of applause. Yeah. Teachers make us who we are today, for sure, without a doubt. Without a doubt. And I think it's $150,000 that they're raising yeah. tonight, which yeah, is amazing. Is, this is great. This is great. So I've got to tell you guys a cool story. I mean, I think this is really cool. So this week, actually, I'm celebrating my 100th episode of my show on the record. And speaking of sports, it's Love in America with Tampa Bay's uh, Rays president, Brian Alden, his wife, Molly. And it's going to air at noon on Wednesday. The reason why I'm sharing the story is because the volunteers of the year have something to do with on the record. So. The volunteers of the year this year are Carlos um, Guerrera and Sam Rockwell. Well, Carlos called me, and so they found out, like years ago, that the Academy did not participate in the Great American Teach-In. <laughs> so they, come up, they came up with an amazing planned inaugural, inaugural Academy Career Day, yeah. all right? So, but of course it's 2020, unprecedented times. No one's going into the classrooms. They're doing interviews. Via Zoom. I mean, we lived, I, I mean, I, I, it's still a blur, right, Dick, what yeah. we went through. Amen. So, amen. So Carlos calls me up and says, Serena, would you like, uh, can we, you know, maybe you can do a Zoom interview and uh, interview one of the students. And I said, Carlos, I said, hot damn, why don't we take it to one, step it up, take it to another <laughs> level. Why don't we have the student interview me live on air and we can talk about the Chi Chi Foundation. And so that's what we did shoot, and I can't re remember the episode number. We'll try to get it, I'll try to find it. But anyway, so we did that. It's one of the longest shows I've done, 40 minutes, because the <laughs> student was like asking all these questions. It was so great. But because of that show and so many other things, they have, they are the volunteers of the oh, year. Very yes, um, and, they've, and they've interviewed, it's not, you know, it wasn't just me, they interviewed over um, 20 guests, including Congressman Gus Blarakis, Mary Quinn, Director of Exhibits at the National Baseball Hall of Fame in uh, Cooperstown, engineers, real estate agents, doctors, musicians, chefs, you name it. Well, let's bring them on up, guys. Are we bringing them on up? <laughs> It was such a fun show, I have to say. I love kids, I love taking part with anything that helps children. And um, Sam was on the show with me. Sam, did you not have fun? Did you not say that it was a blast? That was an absolute, oh, thank you. Absolute blast. Thank you, thank you. Well, this is, uh, this is a great honor. <laughs> Pretty surprising. Um, yeah, so for anyone who, who's not uh, familiar, we've 
done a couple interviews with a bunch of different professionals locally and all over the U.S., um, sharing them with the kids uh, as it fits into their uh, their class schedule. Um, I think the kids have, have really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Um, and uh, kind of started off as just a small idea, and it yeah. just really blossomed. And it seemed to be where um, people from, like you said, all over the country were really excited to share their stories with the kids. Yeah. Yeah. It's been really wonderful. So we're still taking interviews, so if anyone wants to participate, uh, let us know. <laughs> we'll be uh, happy to do a Zoom interview with you guys. So. It'll be wonderful. Thank you. It's great. It's great what you guys did, and honestly, like, you know, I stumbled over it, but to start your own career day is really significant. So it's people like you that make a huge difference in the world, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, you very much. You guys come back on the record. Absolutely. Oh, for sure. For sure. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a great story. I love that story. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, the, uh, a lot of fun participating today. It was a great day for golf, and uh, these guys really did a great job getting involved, and that's what it's all about. And speaking uh, of COVID, the foundation honored a volunteer in 2020 as well, but we were unable to recognize him in person. So let's give a big round of applause for Gary Farney. Gary works in golf ops and also stepped up during the COVID. So give him a round of applause. That was great. I think this is you right here, Dick. Hey, I, I want to thank the organizers for this wonderful script, too. It's great. And it's in large print, so I don't need my dollar store glasses. You don't know how good I am on large print. Anyway, um, we want to bring up the Charity Classic co-chairs and the committee members to come up to hand out awards and, and be part of the pictures. Jessica Majewski, Katie Majewski, Sean Toby, Linda Damsky, Don and Dee Pick, or Fick rather, uh, Nick Gialarakis, I believe it is, and Mike Hillstead and Arlene Laughlin. So if they could come up and be part of it. There, uh, I see them gathering over here. Sean, we read your name too, you know. Oh, you're coming up, okay. All right, we're getting everybody up here. Congratulations, guys, and thank you for everything. Thank you for uh, doing a great job. You know, most people don't know what goes into a golf tournament like this. Yeah, it's not golf. Who's new? Come on, Sean. I'm up. There you are. All right, we got everybody in. They're going to give out awards, take photos, and uh, this is the group that put it all together. Give them another round of applause. All right, Jessica, you, oh, you got the winners, right? All right, everybody. Hold it close. It's on. Joey's All right. We've got uh, first place net today. We've got Corey, Kyle, Mark, and Matt, the AFN team. Are you here? Come on up. Come on up. I'm not doing that. What are we doing? Are we going up there? It's the award for athleticism, too. Hey, we're going to do Pictures this way, buddy. Jump off, too. Go ahead. Don't press it. Pictures to the left. Pictures to the left. All right, and then we've got first place gross, the RJZ team. We've got Tom, Andrew, Bradley, and Christy. Do we have them here? Tom, Andrew, Bradley, and Christy? All right, we will hold your prizes for you. Round of applause for them. That was first place for us. Second place, Nat. I know you're here, Elliot. We've got Elliot, Kyle, John, and Don. Second place, Nat. Give them a round of applause.
You guys suck. <laughs> Elliot, where's all your people? Where you going, Elliot? Get all by yourself. Congratulations, guys. All right, and then uh, second place, Gross. We have the Alabama team. We got Benny, Paul, David, and Mark. Benny, I know you're here. Where you at? Come on up. Come on up, guys. All right, now we have the the contest winners, the putty contest. Paul Pfeiffer. <laughs> Paul, congratulations. <laughs> Unfortunately, we did not have a hole in one winner for the car on number oh. six. We also did not have a hole in one winner for the thousand dollars on number fifteen. But we did have Kyle. Kyle was the winner on number eight for closest to the pin. Kyle Bartoslak. Bring it. Congratulations, buddy. Come on up. And then one of the, the most fun holes for people is the speed hole. That was on number 11. And it was team 7A, it was the Raymond James team that won in 32.33 seconds. No? Why does it say Raymond James? I'm ignoring Raymond James. It was not a Raymond James team. But it was at 32.33 seconds. We have Corey Jeffries, Mark Beyer, Kyle, you're already up here, and Matt Fisherman. Congratulations, guys. You are fast. I mean, we did pretty good. And we have long drive winners. For the men, we've got Corey Jeffries. And for the woman, we have Carol Whaley. Congratulations, Carol. Who's who? Who's what? what? I pulled a grinder in the run, but yeah, it was fun. I hope we have a lot of insurance. Do we have a team or no? This different team. You guys are just coming slowly. Jump up here. Come on up. Corey. Corey, come on, come on. Come on. We're gonna take a and then for the activities here tonight. Come on, come on. Long drive. 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 Second place, we had Carl and Tim at 319.6 with their total score. Are they here? No. Carl, Tim. Tim, do you want to share it? Right down here, right down here. Number two, he's a two handicap into the baby. Watch yourself. Yeah, you know, you're right. Here's a long guy. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Right here. All right, beautiful. All right, three, one, two, three. Good, thank you. Oh, we won the Oh, you got second place. That concludes our awards. Thank you, everybody, for participating today. Congratulations to all of our winners. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, guys, I mean, honestly, it's about the amazing to play today, right? Right on. Right on. Jump in. Let's bring Carl back up. Let's see. Turn yours around. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, the winner's for Yes, yes, yes. That's why I'm here, right? Yes. And we want to thank everybody for being a part of this amazing event. We're going to bring Paul Walkner back up to stage. But, Dick, okay, did I hear you correctly when you said to me that I'm, um, did you just say that I'm late? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I think so. I have a to me and Tom James, yes. Wow. Okay, okay, I need, to, I need to get him a glass of wine or something. And, um, bring, yes. oh, James, are you going to speak? Oh, my gosh, how could we not bring up the CEO?
amazing. Hi everybody, James Coulter with the Foundation. I just want to give a big round of applause to Serena and Dick for tonight. Please take them that time. And I'm on here on stage to remind everybody, I need everybody a favor. Everybody that's bidding right now, I need everybody that's bidding right now to get out their phone. Okay, because we have an Insta buy on this page. It's really, really important. We have an Insta buy for $100 that gets you a Chi Chi hat. And it also gets you a chance of a one in nine chance of winning a $700 piece of jewelry, okay? So the value of the hat is right there, 100 bucks. And then you also get a one in nine chance of winning a $700 piece of jewelry, uh, courtesy of August, August Stevenson, which is a very nice piece of jewelry. So anybody that hasn't paid attention or seen that, I just kind of wanted to bring that word to you. There's 17 chances left. 15. It's going down. I'd love to see it at zero by the time I get off the stage. It's for the kids. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't leave the stage until we get to zero. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. Is it going down? Stay there. Stay there. So it's on the Insta Buy tab, right down at the bottom. You'll get a Chi Chi hat, and you get a one in nine chance of winning a $700 piece of jewelry. All right, I feel like we're going down. 13 left. 13 left. Buy a hat, we're hearing in the crowd. All right, so I'm gonna let everybody figure that out. I just wanna say thank you, thank you everybody for playing, everybody supporting the foundation. I know that we're gonna get down to zero. I really appreciate everybody's support. Have a great night. Thank you very much. And thank you to Serena and Dick. Thank you so much, James, we appreciate it. And now we're gonna bring back uh, Carl. Some great music all the way in from Nashville. Oh, there he is! Oh, we're so excited! Is this one of you guys? Oh, you got your own. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go dance now, right, Dick? Okay, so we did something super cool this year. I wrote a song with the students of the school. And we're gonna sing it. I'm gonna sing it right now for everybody. So here's what we did. Uh, I created like a, a, a basic template of a song, right? So some music and some lyrics. And each class took the verse, right? So each class wrote their own verse. We pieced it together and wrote a song. We're gonna sing the song right now. Do you guys want to hear it? So this song, it's just called the Chi Chi song, but the students wrote 100% of the words. So from grade four all the way through to grade eight, they each had a verse or a chorus, and I'm gonna do my best to sing it for you guys. Put it to some music, here we go. Just as soon as I plug my guitar. <laughs> Buy hats. That's right. That's the best kind of Tourette's I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> so remember, uh, everybody, the students wrote all of these lyrics themselves. Each class did a verse. So grade four did the first one, five, six, seven, and then eight. Uh, did the chorus. So I'm just relaying what they wrote. It's their words is a beautiful song. Here you go. Being kind is a sure respect. Caring for others is always correct. When we admire what others do, we can appreciate their actions too There you are Feeling small Like your honesty might fall Lift your head up, don't lie And you will fly high Head is bare 
and we all sang through the songs and it was surprising how many uh, students remembered that they wrote that little lyric or oh, that was the thing that I put in you know it was really it was super cool